Hello guys, Walt here. Um, today I want to talk about cartoons and mainly Japanese cartoons, Japanime. What was your gateway into them and do you still watch them or what's your favorite and just, you know, just a general idea of, of Japanese cartoons opposed to American cartoons and just the overall fact that I think that there's more Japanese cartoons that out there than American cartoons and they put out more cartoons than we do movies and they're just constantly pumping them out. Anyways, what I want to talk about today is your gateway into the introduction of them. Mine was Dragon Ball Z. I used to get up every morning and watch them uh, on, jeez, I don't know, just they were randomly tossed around. That cartoon would just... Never really, never really got a good mainstay on any certain channel. And the most it would go f go long enough was, as far as I remember, uh, just as they were reaching Planet Namek, just before the whole big Frieza saga. My rant for today is that I was re-watching the whole series and I realized that there are so many scenes in there that are used over and over again and just if a person were to edit it that down it would just seem so much shorter than all the powering up that the good guys the bad guys did goku frieza uh cell and just some things were just dragged on for a little longer than they needed to be but i mean it was it was a show it was a good show it was it was a a fighting show. But anyways, um, that was my big one. And then there was also uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. Led me into the genre of the the mecha category for for Japanime. And after that, it was on to Escaflone. But the whole big Gundam uh, franchise really got to me. Because, I mean, they're mobile suits and they are actually feasible if you think about it in the real world and I believe there is a company out there out somewhere in California that is in the process of making a real life mobile suit uh, right now for right now they're doing it for uh, mainly construction uh, and military use but they are in the process of building these things which is amazing that's how much uh, TV shows and cartoons influence us uh, but if I really think back to it, I was introduced back to Voltron and Transformers. Because if you believe it or not, even though those are embedded in American, um, the American culture, those were purchased as Japanese cartoons and transformed into, I know the pun, they were transformed into... American uh, American cartoons but what my big thing is what was your introduction into into the Japanese uh, cartoons what movies from those did you like mine was the grave of fireflies which is a very touching one and like, spirited away and um, voices from a distant star but, any, but there's just too many to number, guys, and I just wanted to ask you personally what was your introduction into the uh, Japanese cartoon culture and what's your favorite. Mine, mine was, always will be, uh, top of the list, Dragon Ball Z, and then the new one, Full Metal Alchemist, along with uh, Escaflone. But anyways, guys, that's me. I'm according to Walt. This is my channel. Subscribe up there. Leave a comment down below. I have other videos. They're right here. And together we can watch a movie over here. I will see you guys next Monday.